Welcome to Kurt Cobain's Draw My Life. Kurt Ronald Cobain was born on February 20th, 1967 in Aberdeen, a tiny Washington city in eastern United States. There, little Kurt would grow up with his parents and his little sister Kim. He was also accompanied by Bada, his imaginary friend. However, his parents' marriage would end up breaking up, and at the age of nine, he would go and live with his father, while his sister Kim did the same with her mother. During his childhood, Kurt would show great interest in the arts and music. He loved to draw. He played a little drum set his parents gave him. And he also learned to play the piano by ear. There was no doubt. He was a budding genius. His father remarried, but Kurt did not have a good relationship with his stepmother or her children. In a time as complicated as adolescence, Kurt felt sad. He got into drugs and ended up moving away from his father to go back to his mother. Back in school in Aberdeen, he would impress teachers and students with his incredible artistic talent. However, he did not join with the best influences. And in 1985, police carried him off painting graffiti all over town. His friends ran away, but he was arrested. It would not be his only run in with the law. Months later, he would spend a few days in jail for drinking in an abandoned building. Another time when he was just a teenager. He confessed to a classmate that he dreamed of being a music star. The typical get rich and famous, leave a nice pot, and commit suicide while on top. He left the master, Jimi Hendrix. Shortly thereafter, in late 1985, he would make his debut with his first band. Fecal Matter, Dale Crover, and Greg Hokanson were with him on that first adventure, which, to tell you the truth, only lasted two or three months. The boy had his whole life ahead of him to develop his passion. Music. And soon he would meet Chris Novoselic, with whom he would form a band with Mark and Ira. Nirvana. At just 21, he would release the first single from Nirvana. The Rough Buzz. A team that he would hand to the university radio, KCMU. He waited all night, but when they didn't play it, he called the radio himself to ask for the song for some other. In those early years, different drummers would pass through the band such as Aaron Borkow de Prover and Shed Shani, until finally finding Dave Grohl, who would become one of Nirvana's regular and most emblematic members. After making their debut with Bleach in 1989, Nirvana's great success would definitely come in 1991 with their second album. Never mind, an album that includes songs of the level, as well as Lightning Spirit, or Come As You Are, and then came in utero, another great album. In 1987, Kurt would start dating Tracy Miranda. His first official girlfriend. Together they would move to Olympia, where they would enjoy a lifestyle very much. Like rock stars. The love almost never lasts forever, and the flame went out. And then he met Courtney Love. The love of his life. Even though the first time they slept together. She was shocked by the zebra print underwear, for it wore. But it burned some boxes, she would say. Kirk and Courtney were with Francis in 1998. A little girl that cared, however, she was not to see grow He had stopped feeling the music. He was constantly feeling unsatisfied, and would leave this world with a suicide down. Kurt entered the 27th club, along with Brian Jones, Jimi Hendrix, James Joplin, and Jim Morrison, a great artist of music who died at the same age. The great guitarist would leave, but the legend was born, for the record, one of the phrases that best defined him. People laugh at me because I am different. I laugh at them because they are all the same. Kurt Cobain, and it's beautifully unique. And this has been Kurt Cobain's Draw My Life. If you liked it, give it a like, and share it, and comment on what you want our next Draw My Life to be.